veteran could lose his home all because of a small American flag that's there in his flower pot. 73-year-old Larry Murphy has been fighting his Jacksonville, Florida Homeowners Association for more than two years now. The association has ruled, or they have a rule, I should say, that only plants are allowed in the flower pots, and they have fined him more than $8,000, and if he doesn't pay, they could foreclose on his house. Murphy is going to be live on Fox & Friends in the next hour to tell his story. Well, a veteran may lose his home all because of an American flag in his flower pot. A Florida homeowners association has declared only plants are allowed in flower pots, and they fined him more than $8,000. If he doesn't pay up, they could foreclose on his home. So what can he do? Retired veteran and homeowner Larry Murphy joins us now. Larry, thanks for being with us, sir. Exactly what was outside of your condo here that got everybody fired up? This little flag that they said it's an unauthorized object going in a flower pot. And you felt what about that? Well, I feel very strongly about the American flag. Uh, there's people that uh, are still fighting wars and strapping on guns to protect me and the people I love. Plus, it shows uh, the love and respect I have for my country. It's, it's a small flag, but it's, it's a big thank you. Is the flag still there in the flower pot today? Uh, well, I just took it out. Still got dirt on it. And so they have been fining you originally, was it $100 a day? How much do you... Go ahead, sir. Yeah, it's $100 a day. And right now, those fines are up to how much? They sent me a bill for right at $8,000. But they didn't break it down, so I don't know how it breaks down, if it's legal fees or what. So uh, currently, you are being fined for having an American flag in a flower pot eight thousand dollars so much you owe that if you do not pay this because you want to have the american flag proudly displayed in your flower pot what yep. will happen to you they will file a foreclosure lien to take my house this we had this a couple of years ago and uh... it was settled and then uh... two years later they come back with the same thing they're saying that uh, there's only they came out and made up new rules saying that uh, only certain things can be in the flower pot, and the flag again is an uh, unauthorized object. And I, I'm, I'm dug in my heels on this. When you define the American flag as an unauthorized object in the United States of America, it seems like a contradiction there. What do your neighbors think? Uh, getting so far 100% support from uh, from the neighbors that talk to me and. Uh, it's gone on the internet. I've had calls from Nevada, West Virginia, all over the place. The support's just been fantastic. I understand and also that they are they responsible for paying the fees to pursue any action against you uh, throughout the homeowners association. Uh, they well, we have to file another lawsuit because they they won't they won't back off, and all I want is just to be left alone, be able to display my flag. Now, and, sir, the flag isn't very big. You have it with you on, in your hand, Yes, I assume. This, so this is the flag that's going to cost you $8,000 yeah. here, and if you don't pay, they're going to foreclose on your home. As a veteran of this country, what is your message for those who are so strongly opposed to having that unauthorized object in your flower pot? Well, I would think if anybody on that board told me they served in the military, I'd have to ask them which side. Larry and McMurphy, we just <laughs> you stunned me there with that statement. You might you might hear a different side of them coming out today. We want to thank you for being with Fox and Friends and for displaying that flag so proudly. It's been an honor. Thank you so much. Great serviceman there.